assalamu alaikum so today we are going to discuss the anastomosis of the lower limb so mainly there are three anastomoses in the lower limb named as is the cruciate anastomosis the trochanteric anastomosis and the genicular anastomosis this cruciate anastomosis it is near the lesser trochanter of femur and this trochanteric anastomosis it is in the trochanteric fossa trochanteric fossa of the hip bone and this genicular anastomosis it is around the knee joint these anastomoses they will provide the collateral circulation to the lower limb so now we will see these anastomoses that how we will see that how can we easily draw these anastomoses okay so let's start it so there will be first the common iliac artery it will divide into the right common iliac and the left common iliac now these both the right and left they will divide into the external iliac and the internal iliac arteries okay now actually this this external and the internal iliac they will actually participate in the these trochanteric anastomosis and the cruciate anastomosis we will see that how they are participating after crossing the inguinal ligament here will be the inguinal ligament so as this external iliac will cross the inguinal ligament it will become the femoral artery this femoral artery it will move inferiorly and after reaching at the point of the knee it will move posterior to the knee now it is moving posterior to the knee and after crossing the knee joint it will divide into the anterior tibial artery and the posterior tibial artery so first of all we will label all these this was the common iliac this was the right common iliac this was left common iliac this was the external iliac and this was the internal iliac this was inguinal ligament and this was the femoral after crossing the inguinal ligament it becomes the femoral artery now in the knee joint it will be the popliteal artery and this will be the posterior tibial and this will be the anterior tibial now we will see the branches so uh, from the internal iliac artery there will be two branches the descending uh, uh, branch of the superior gluteal artery and the descending branch of the inferior gluteal artery so there will be a descending branch of the superior gluteal artery and an air descending branch of inferior gluteal artery we will label this this is descending branch of superior gluteal and this will be the descending branch of inferior gluteal
and from the femoral artery here will arise the profunda femoris artery this will be the profunda femoris artery and this profunda femoris artery it will divide into three branches the lateral circumflex the medial circumflex and the uh, perforating branches so this will be the lateral circumflex this will be the medial circumflex and these will be the perforating branches now each of these lateral and medial they will divide into the uh, ascending branch and the transverse branch okay so this will be the ascending branch of lateral and here it will give one transverse branch similarly this medial it will give an ascending branch and a tra transverse branch and this descending branch it will also give a branch here which will anastomose with these now we will label these this was profunda femoris this was the lateral circumflex circumflex and this was the medial circumflex now this will be the ascending branch of lateral and this will be the uh, transverse branch similarly this will be the ascending branch of medial and this will be its transverse branch and these will be the perforating branches so there are as we have studied earlier that there are about three or four perforating branches we will draw these this will be the first perforating branch This will be second perforating branch. This will be third perforating branch. And this will be the fourth perforating branch. First, second, third, and fourth. Now, see, there are four arteries. This will be the. Sorry. This is the trochanteric anastomosis and four arteries are parts which are the descending branch of superior gluteal, descending branch of the inferior gluteal and the ascending branch of the medial circumflex and the ascending branch of the lateral circumflex. And this is the cruciate anastomosis and here will be also four branches. One is the descending branch of the inferior gluteal, the same this, and the transverse branch of the medial circumflex, transverse branch of the lateral circumflex, and the first perforating branch. This will be the first perforating branch. And this will be the cruciate anastomosis. This will be the trochanteric anastomosis. So now we will move toward this, the third anastomosis, which will be the genicular anastomosis around the knee joint. So first of all, you must know that uh, this. Um, Lateral circumflex, it will also give a descending branch. We will draw it here. This will be the descending branch of the lateral circumflex. Okay, so we will label it. Descending branch of lateral circumflex. And here, this femoral artery before changing to the popliteal artery, it will also give a branch which, which will be the descending genicular branch. This will be here. Now they have reached at the level of the knee joint, and they will anastomose themselves with each other like this at the knee joint. Now we are in the region of knee joint. Okay. Now for the the artery which are on the posterior, I will use this green color. This will show that these are from coming from the posterior side. Okay, so first of all, you must know that in the genicular anastomosis there are total five or uh, eight arteries, among which five are the genicular branches of the popliteal artery. So first of all, we will complete those five branches of the popliteal artery which are participating in this anastomosis. So, so the first branch, it will be the superior lateral genicular. The here it will become anterior then there will be the superior medial genicular okay. then there is an 
inferior lateral genicular and inferior medial gen genicular arteries and one will be a middle gen genicular artery which will arise from the center point and it will move upward so we will just label it this was the superior medial genicular this is superior lateral genicular this is inferior medial genicular this is inferior lateral genicular and here will be a middle genicular this green color I will use because they are coming from the posterior side and here which are shown in the red means that they have now become comes on the anterior side now uh, five branches will be the, from the popliteal and three will be additional from three uh, those three uh, two we have seen the, the first one was this descending branch of the lateral circumflex and one was this descending genital from the femoral artery descending genicular from femoral artery now the last one will be the anterior tibial recurrent this anterior tibial it will give one branch will be the anterior tibial recurrent which will participate in this anastomosis this will be the anterior tibial recurrent and now this is the anastomosis around this is the genicular anastomosis which are around the knee joint and which help in the collateral lateral circulation now again see that there are total eight branches in this anastomosis so we will see them one by one one will be this descending genicular from this femoral artery number one then number two branch will be the descending branch of the lateral circumflex femoral artery this will be number two and number three branch will be the anterior tibial recurrent these are the three branches which are coming from different side and then there will be five genital branches which will be arising from the popliteal artery we will see those so this will be the superior lateral genicular superior medial genicular inferior lateral genicular and the inferior medial genicular and then there will be a middle genicular so these are the total eight which are participating in the genicular anastomosis around the knee joint so this is whole about the main anastomosis of the lower limb thank you